Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of my motorsport series. Today's guest is a W Series driver who will be lining up on the 2021 grid in June. Born in Colorado, she grew up around racing and it wasn't long before she followed in her father's footsteps. Since then, she's raced in US Formula 4 and in the US F2000 National Championship. So my guest today is of course, Saba Cook. We caught up recently to chat about how she got into racing, how much she's looking forward to W Series this year, and much more. I hope you enjoy our conversation. Hi Sabra, uh, how are you today? Good, how are you? Not too bad, thanks. Thanks for being here as well. And uh, so where in the world are you at the moment? Uh, currently, I am just outside Dallas, Texas. Ooh, nice weather there at the moment. But uh, not, so, not so much maybe recently, but it's hopefully better now. Not too bad, it's not too bad. So you've got W Series coming up in a couple of months, but before we get to that, I want to go back to the start and ask you what inspired you to get into motor racing in the first place. Uh, so I was fortunate to be part of a family that um, was involved in motorsports. My dad used to race motocross and supercross professionally back in the 80s, and he found karting after he retired from that. And obviously, my he and my mother did not want my brother and I racing motorcycles, so he got us into karting when I was about eight years old. Not eight, yeah, young age then, nice. And you just kind of, you loved it from, from the get-go, did you? Uh, I was super excited about it at first, and then I like we, I got my first cart and I took off, and I didn't realize you had to break. Um, and I spun out, and it scared the crap out of myself. And then I drove quite slow actually for the next couple of years. And then uh, and then I I was getting teased by some boys one day, and then I was just like, you know what? No, I can do this. And I was so frustrated, and and I was just like, no, I'm gonna win. And then uh, kind of flipped the switch in me, and I just. Get very seriously, very competitively ever since. Uh, Seems to be going all right for you as a result of that, just for just to prove some boys wrong. So it's not a bad way to just say, yeah. you know, well, I can do this. <laughs> yes, exactly. So you also competed in US Formula 4 Championship and in the SCAA National Championship run offs, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, a, how was that? And then B, would you be interested in racing other in other US-based uh, motor racing categories like the Indy 500 or NASCAR or anything like that? Uh, yeah, so I, I only actually did two of the USF4 races, um, but it, I mean, it was a great experience when I did do it in 2018. Um, it, the experience was, was good, it was new, it was like, and I did the USF 2000 races as well just before that. So it was a, it was a big jump, especially I wish that I had had the funding to get more testing in before having to just jump into a few of those races, but I try to just try to make the best of the situation. Um, but I, I really liked it and I think it's a good development pattern for young racers here in the US. Uh, I would definitely, uh, my goal is to make it to IndyCar, so I would obviously consider continuing towards that. Um, NASCAR, I guess I haven't really like seen that as a path for myself, but I wouldn't say no. Like if, if there was an opportunity there and someone wanting to put me in a car and the opportunity presented itself, I would definitely take it in. Um, I've done uh, actually some, I did like the Global Rings 5 Cup race at Daytona earlier in the year and raced some GT2 stuff with FCCA and then I will be doing the Force Sprint Challenge um, for two races actually here um, in 2021. So I am doing a little bit of different of the, of the open wheel stuff and doing some of the sports car stuff as well, but uh, yeah, in, IndyCar would definitely be my so it's all it's all good experience from from what you're saying. You're just dipping your toe in a lot of different areas, and it's all it's all beneficial. Then then if it can help you get a bit closer to the Indy 500, then then why not? I mean, I think that's maybe part of what uh, what attracted you maybe to W Series in the first place. You know, it's a, this whole it's, it's it's all female things. So you get to prove yourself there a bit, but it's also a similar kind of racing to to Indy versus Indy Car. Yes, we do race on road courses like Indy Car does. Um, I mean, the cars are obviously completely different, but the it is the open wheel, same, same sort of like platform that you know is the is a ladder to things like F1 and IndyCar. So yes, it, it does help. It's all good experience. What was the first season of W Series like for you? Can you talk us through the experience with that? Uh, it was great. I mean, I wasn't able to um, 
having a sponsorship in order to run a full season in a professional open series before W series gave me that opportunity. So it was honestly, it was great for me. It was a consistent, consistent thing that I didn't have to worry about bringing money to. So I could just focus on developing as a driver and, and everything like that. So it was, it was awesome. I love learning new tracks, um, working in a new environment, getting a ACF three cars. So it was great. I definitely made more mistakes than I would have liked to. Uh, but I think considering I went into the series with like less than half the amount of races as the next person that had the least amount of experience, like I think I had 12 races going in and, and then compared to like less than Jamie that had anywhere from 200 to 400. So I definitely, I made mistakes, but I'm not gonna, I, I'm gonna try not to be too hard on myself just because, you know, I need to make the mistakes in order to, make the, to learn from them, just like they probably did when, uh, when they were at my level. So it's, it's first season in a new new racing category. You know, it's, it's the time to make mistakes so you can learn from that and get get over it. So you can get onto the get onto the winning stuff maybe a bit more this year, and then at least you know some of what not to do. So it's all it's all helpful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, with there not being as many uh, opportunities to race last year, I mean, for example, W Series didn't go ahead as planned. Uh, what did you get up to instead of racing, or what other opportunities did you get to try then that you might not have? So 2021, um, I was supposed to do W Series and uh, partial season in the Pro 2000. But obviously, for everyone, times changed. Um, so I did. Uh, we did it. We did do some. I did like half of the esports races that W Series had um, when they weren't conflicting with other races or, or work here in the states. Um, I did. Uh, I did do two indie pro races. Um, at Mid one at Mid Ohio, one at America, so that was that was great to at least get to be able to do those. Uh, and then I also did uh, I did the SCCA runoffs, um, and I did one other SCCA race. So definitely didn't race in real life as much as I would have liked to, um, but at least I didn't do nothing. And then um, I worked a lot. I did a lot of coaching uh, with quite a few young drivers, whether it be in karting or in uh, Formula Four. I went down to Mexico and worked a bit, and then also started working more with like Grand Prix simulation and then Formula Mazda as well on the engineering side of things. Does, does, uh, did you, how did you how did you find that then the the engineering side of things with that? In, how is it in, in in switching passions? You're supposed to from driving the car to doing that side of things. Would that be interesting? Would that, would that be something you'd be interested in? Um, switching up more often or would you or is the driving definitely the more thing for you um no i mean well considering i'm currently sitting in the break room right now at work as an engineer i think that that's uh that's uh, probably uh, something i'm going to stick with um yeah so i i mean i love engineering i've always loved you know math and science since i was a kid so it's definitely still part of what i would like to do day to day and i'm lucky enough that it is you know it is a big part of motorsports so I definitely am, am still doing that. It's not my main focus, um, but I, I enjoy doing it when I, can, when I can fit it in with my racing schedule. And then how much are you looking forward to W Series this year? Uh, I'm looking forward to it very much. It's one of the, probably maybe the biggest opportunity I've had in my entire life. So to be able to be paired with F1 quality races. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy they managed. They uh, decided to put it alongside on the same weekends as Formula One, so it's, it's definitely what W Series deserves. So I'm glad it's there. It should be. It should be a great uh, experience. Which which track are you most looking forward to racing at? Austin, maybe the the number one, or somewhere else. Um, I mean, yeah, Austin's going to be great because it's a home race. Uh, so that that will be special. I, I am actually looking forward to, you know, racing at Spa because uh, I think that's just going to be absolutely insane. Um, yeah. But honestly, I'm looking forward to all the tracks. So every single one of them is going to be a new track for me, except for Coda. So that's the one I got. Home advantage. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, the one, the one, one home advantage. And, uh, I know like Silverstone is going to be amazing just because of the atmosphere. Um, I know the Brits are going to be super quick there, but um, it's just going to be awesome to be able to say that I raced, you know, on all those iconic tracks. There's some bucket list tracks to tick off, so it's uh, even if you're if, if even if it's your first time there, it's still going to be great experience to do that and just to be able to say you can do that you raced there. So it's going to be great. Yeah, exactly. 
switching up from motor racing to just some more non-motor racing stuff so people can get to know you a little better in a silly way do you have any useless talents uh, completely useless i don't know <laughs> i guess i don't i feel like uh, i can pick up stuff with my feet pretty well that is probably not super helpful but it is nice when you're out of hands <laughs> it would be helpful in the engineering if you can't reach a couple of things you got your hands busy just get the pick something up with a foot and that'll help you out. <laughs> yeah, you use it to, you really have uh, like shoes on or safety shoes so that doesn't really help. That's true. <laughs> That's why I'm not an engineer. Uh, do you have a favorite film or and or TV show? Um, I guess favorite movie. I really liked um, I really liked Avatar when I like when it first came out, you know, the one, not not the one with the, the with the Avatar: Glass Airbender, the blue people. Yeah, yeah, I I went for the blue people. Don't worry. Yeah, the Avatar: Glass Airbender was a horrible recreation of the actual Avatar, like the little like like the TV show series. I used to watch that when I was younger. So yeah, I think Avatar was awesome. Um, otherwise, I guess I. Netflix. I mean, I, I like The Hundred. Um, that was a pretty interesting. I don't know how much free time you get for all of this stuff. To be fair, so <laughs> not enough sometimes. But <laughs> I'd say with racing, it could be worse. At least you, at least you get to do something cool that you enjoy. So it's it's a good reason to not be up to date on some of on some of the stuff on Netflix. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, but I guess what most people don't realize is like I'm not just racing all the time. Like the most, the majority of my time is spent doing you know either training or working or finding sponsorship so it is like it is obviously essential and necessary to get where i want to go but it's definitely not the oh yeah i'm just racing all the time that's why i don't have time no, <laughs> no of course of course it's uh it's, it's you wish you could be racing all the time but unfortunately you've got to do all the other stuff until until that is more of a possibility so but you know worth it i, I would think anyway yeah. hopefully so far anyway um yeah, this one, we'll see what it does here. If you could have one superpower, what would it be and why? Um, probably, I would either choose, I guess, time control or controlling the elements, because I think that would be pretty cool. So you're looking a little mischievous there with the time travel. What are you, what are you up to there? Uh, there's so, well, you could, I mean, there's so many things you could do with that. That, that, would, be, that would come in handy with a lot of things. Um, where's one place you always wanted to visit but never got the, or haven't got the chance yet? Probably Monaco and um, Alaska. Interesting combination. Monaco, I can understand. <laughs> Why Alaska? Uh, because you can see the Northern Lights there and you can ride a sled dog team. Two very good reasons. I can't argue with that. That's just, you sold it pretty well there. <laughs> And um, finally, do you have a dream car? Um, probably the Koenigsegg one to one. I would really like that. I'm saying a lot of good answers here. I'm liking everything I'm hearing. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a pleasure to talk to you, and uh, I hope we get to do it again soon. And thank you for uh, being here. And uh, good luck with W Series when it when it kicks off in June. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. You can tell that Sabra is really looking forward to getting stuck into the racing action when W Series gets underway this June. Big thanks to her again for coming onto the show, and I wish her the best of luck for W Series this year. Join me again soon when I'll be talking to another famous person from the world of motorsport. And in the meantime, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the other videos on my channel. Away from YouTube, you can find me over on Drive Tribe, and feel free to follow me on Instagram at t.albers.daily.drivetribe. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you again soon.